After the Great Recession and then the economic downturn, the cities were booming. I think we all saw it. The thought was people wanted to be able to walk to work and, and live a little bit closer to downtown life. But what we've seen in the last couple of years is a flock to the suburbs, especially by millennials. And if you think about it, they're 23 to 38 years old now. So they're somewhat belatedly, many of them, able to start a household, get married, start a family, and do what their parents and their grandparents did, which is move to the suburbs. And Diana, as you've said, look, there, there might be a desire for home ownership still that's driving you know, some of this, but there's also a huge affordability issue that's still creating a, a lot of renters who wouldn't normally be renters here, right? Right, and they're still renting in apartments or they're looking to single-family rentals. And I don't think it's a shift in the demographics. It, millennials, just like previous generations, moving out to the suburbs, it's the same percentage as we're moving out or living out there back in 2000. I think what millennials want from the suburbs is different. They want close in, they want walkable, and they want it around smaller cities. And those smaller cities simply don't have the large suburbs. And that's what her article is talking about, is that we need to build out these smaller city suburbs to accommodate millennials. What would be some examples, Valerie, of where we're really seeing this trend play out. Well, Diana has done some reporting on this recently with the Case Shiller numbers. We're seeing a very selective move to the suburbs, and there's two common denominators um, warmth, good weather, and uh, good jobs. Good jobs. And, and so you're it, seeing Phoenix, Atlanta, yeah. Tampa, Raleigh. Austin, places like that. And Diana, where, where does that leave a place like Denver? You know, some of the places that really <laughs> boomed early, but we've talked a lot about how expensive uh, housing has gotten in those places. Well, it's gotten very expensive, but Denver, actually, the prices are now coming down because affordability hits a wall, and it's a question of how far can you build out. And again, the builders could build further out into the exurbs, but while we're seeing millennials and downsizing baby boomers, in the close-in suburbs, they're not willing to go out to the exurbs like previous generations were. They're not willing to take that hour-long drive outside. So you are going to see prices come back a bit in Denver, but in places like Pittsburgh, again, like she was saying, in Austin, these smaller cities where tech is moving in, you are seeing booming cities and booming suburbs.